Hello everyone, in this video, I will show you how to set up a vermicomposting bin. At the end of this video, there will be a link to a playlist containing videos related to vermicomposting that you might be interested in. The first step to setting up a worm bin is preparing the bedding. This is the layer which the worms will inhabit and also consume. It should be composed of fibrous materials such as coca coir, shredded paper, shredded cardboard, egg cartons or dry leaves to name a few. I usually use both rinsed coca coir to remove any potential residual salt and shredded cardboard. First, add a layer of coca coir that is about an inch or two deep. The substrate should be moist but not wet. When you squeeze a handful of the coir, you shouldn't be able to squeeze out more than a few drops. I like to add a layer of shredded cardboard on top of the coir that is another inch or two deep. The same goes for the shredded cardboard as the coca coir. It should be moist but not wet. Like I said, you can use a combination of acceptable bedding material. Next, you need to inoculate your worm bin with beneficial microbes using at least two to three cups of wormy compost from an established bin or some other type of disease and pest free compost. Mix it evenly throughout the bin and save some for the next step. Now prepare the scraps that you will be feeding the worms. Things that can be fed to the worms are vegetable and fruit scraps and starches such as stale bread and rice. You can also add things such as coffee grounds, used tea bags and crushed eggshells. Things you want to avoid are citrus, meat, dairy products, hot peppers, and papaya. The initial goal is to get your bin well established, and in order for this to happen, the worms need to reproduce. To facilitate this, it is best to at least for the first few months, cut the scraps to small pieces, or even blend it in a food processor to make it easier for the worms to consume. You only need to feed small portions in the beginning. Add the fruit scraps to the center of the bin so that the worms remain there rather than trying to escape out of the bin. Now, mix it well with the remaining compost from earlier. Subsequent feedings can be placed in other areas of the bin. Next, add the red wigglers under the fruit scraps in the center of the bin. Now, place the bin in a room between 5 to 27 degrees Celsius. Leave the lid off and leave the light on in that room for the next 24 to 48 hours. This will prevent the worms from trying to climb out of the bin and force them to settle in. After about 48 hours, you can replace the lid on the worm bin. If the bin ever becomes too wet, you can add dry bedding material to absorb the excess moisture. If the bin ever becomes too dry, you can moisten it with water. Just ensure that the water is chlorine free, such as rainwater or by using a dechlorinator since you do not want to kill off the beneficial microbes. Do not feed again until the initial portion is almost completely consumed. As the worms reproduce and multiply, you can begin to increase the food portions and the frequency of feeding. And there you go, that's how you set up a wormy composting bin. If you like this video, please check out my playlist on my homepage where I have neatly organized videos according to topic for your ease. And please subscribe and turn on your bell notification so that you know whenever I upload new content. Thank you.